This is your High Desert Sports Report. The Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program. Covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. The High Desert Yardbirds head into the final week and a half of regular season play, having clinched the Pacific Division title. Individual franchise records are being set along the way. Slugging first baseman Slayton Vaughn becomes the first Yardbird in franchise history to hit three home runs in one game. The 6'8", 24-year-old Texan from Fort Worth hit three out at California City in High Desert's July 25th route of the Whiptails. Slayton Vaughn's fifth in his first at bat, his sixth and seventh in consecutive at bats in the seventh and eighth. Thus, he joins Daniel Enciso as the only Yardbirds ever to homer in consecutive at bats. I would say I'm just here to provide power and try to hit. Slayton Vaughn's 7 RBI outburst helped power the way to Jacob Rosales becoming the Pecos League's first 10-game winner. Jacob Rosales is the Yardbirds' winningest pitcher long before topping the previous record of six games won set by 2017's Greg Turner. Other Yardbirds franchise records broken by this year's best team ever standouts, Derek Reddy sets a new record with every stolen base he swipes. He has 46 at the time of this report. Demetrius Moore held the old record with 40. Derek Reddy, the just turned 26 year old from Massachusetts, also has scored more runs and drawn more walks than any other Yardbird, eclipsing those marks set by Shane Brown over a two year career. Anthony Ward's four triples ties the Yardbirds record set by Dominic Zayer. The 23-year-old Anthony Ward is from Fresno. Dylan Farr is two doubles shy of tying Ronnie Grant's club record of 19 doubles. We'll double down and wager the 25-year-old from Las Vegas will break that mark before season's end. The day of this report marks the end of High Desert's season series against the Wasco Reserves. Video Sports cornered Wasco manager Bill Moore after the Yardbirds' final home game against the Reserves. The 74-year-old Independent League icon explains the importance of leagues like this and alludes to why he has spent the last seven seasons of his 48-year career coaching Pecos League players. Coach, Coach, what's this Pecos State all about? It's a rookie level opportunity for young guys to go out and play. And, and the strength of the league is that very thing and the amount of promotions that come out of this league every year. And the higher levels of independent ball, um, the rare guy that gets in affiliated ball, but um, that, that's the strength of this league. It's, 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 a, it's a good place for guys to get their feet wet and if they got any talent. Some of my resume, and I'm proud of this, that uh, I've been able to do this as long as I have. Uh, I think i played coached probably somewhere around 5,000 baseball games and, and um, that, you know, I could get an affiliated job if I wanted to, um, but it, it, it's nice to play with these younger guys and try to push the ones that are deserving and um, to me that's I've done some affiliated ball as a coach. To me, I'm more worthwhile to the game doing this than trying to teach it. There's one of my protégés right down there, Mr. McNeil. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to have a guy like Sean. I cut Sean, actually. And uh, he hung in there and he's doing He's doing good stuff now. And, and, uh, that turns me on as much as anything. 
about um, the game and that's why I keep doing it. And I can keep doing it till I'm not able to. These sound bites and Yardbirds record breaking highlights brought to you by Bid Past and Last World Class Auctioneers. Bid Past and Last, sold on supporting high desert sports. Bid Past and Last, liquidation of government entities, vehicles, firearms, estates, antiques, fine jewelry, coins, and more. Bid online at bidfastandlast.com. Ready to kick tires, start fires, kick ass, take things, rock and roll. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive. Bid fast and last world-class auctioneers, family-owned and operated liquidation experts. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville, providing highest quality home appliances at discount prices for six decades. Valu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Desert High Transportation, reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. Iwan Zak Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting high desert teams, athletes, and sports programs. To say the high desert yardbirds overcome the adversity of a late season stacked against them schedule change is an understatement. Manager Sean McNeil's troops win 10 of 13 games on the road following the abrupt Pecos League rescheduling and elimination of all remaining high desert home games. A 7-RBI game from Danny Kerr carries the Yardbirds to a 7th consecutive victory. Yeah, no, um, Danny does, does a great job. I guess you could say those killer Ds again, right? Yeah, um, yeah or maybe it's a lefty thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Danny does a great job, too. He finds ways. I mean, those are just two that you named, but, I mean, a lot of guys find the way to get the job done. And I think that's what's very beneficial and very helpful to our success of winning games. Danny Kerr's 7-RBI game gives the 23-year-old catcher from Michigan 38 runs driven in in his 33 games played. Danny Kerr carries a team-high 402 batting average into the final week of regular season games. The Yardbirds welcome back the booming bat of Daniel Enciso, another of the killer D's, and one of the Yardbirds whose resume includes home runs in consecutive plate appearances. This video journalist stands corrected. The previous video sports report stated Daniel Enciso and Slayton Vaughn to be the only hitters in Yardbirds history to homer in consecutive at bat. In fact, Patrick Jones hit homers in consecutive at-bats in a 2018 game at Cal City, and Anthony Hawkins was the first to perform that feat. That was in the 2017 championship season. My thanks to former Yardbirds slugging player coach Trayvon Jackson for pointing this out, setting the record straight, and extending credit where credit is due to Yardbirds hitters establishing milestones. Another of the many Yardbirds turning in outstanding games in the latest seven-game winning streak is Oscar Larinaga. 24-year-old outfielder from Tucson collected four hits in the game that Danny Kerr drives in seven runs. Oscar Larinaga offers this advice to players young and old to stay at it and enjoy the ride. Uh, if you have the opportunity to keep playing, uh, I would always choose to keep playing. You know, you never know when it's going to stop or it's going to end for you one day. So uh, just live every day, like um, play out there every day like it's your last. And if you can keep going, keep going and just have fun with it, to be honest. That's probably the best thing I can give. John Schultz, the winning pitcher in the seventh straight Yardbirds win, his advice to players coming out of high school, go to a college where you will have the opportunity to play right away. Well, started off, uh, went to Carlsbad High, uh, pitched there, and then uh, Oregon Institute of Technology, and uh, that's where I was a starter. And then uh, here I'm uh, a pen guy. I'm, throwing, I'm the only lefty out of the pen. I mean, I found an opportunity with a school that gave me a good degree, and at the same time gave me a good opportunity to play against some 
really good competition and they're in a spot. You know, I, I, I was throwing my freshman year. I was, you know, I had a lot of opportunities a lot of guys don't have with playing time and it was worth it for sure. How old are you, John? I'll be 24 in August. The Community Table Restaurant Online Sports Report. Action highlights brought to you by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting Victor Valley teams and athletic programs. High Desert's home run barrage at California City continues with four Yardbirds clearing the Balsitas Park, shortest in the Pecos League fences in High Desert's eighth consecutive victory. Oscar Larinaga stays red hot following his four hits night the game prior with his seventh home run shown here in bio footage. He joins Eddie Million, Anthony Ward, and Slayton Vaughn with round trippers in the 15 to one triumph. John Kopicki, the beneficiary of the outrageous run support that opens with a five-run Yardbirds first. The 23-year-old from Ohio wins his sixth, lowering his ERA to 316 in the process. Uh, what are you going to be throwing? Me? I, I throw with a lot of movement, actually. So I throw a, a cutter and a sinker yep. um, going opposite ways. and. Um, I, I don't ever really try to gas it up. I hit more spots, uh, throw strikes, and that's the biggest thing is just making sure you're throwing strikes. John Kopicki strikes out a season-high 11 in his seven-inning outing at Cal City. Yeah. Slayton Vaughn's three RBIs in that latest win brings his total to 53 runs driven in on the year. His next RBI gives him the team lead in that department. Every time Derek Reddy steals a base, it sets a new Yardbirds franchise record. The 26-year-old leadoff hitter and team leader steals his 48th on the year. Derek Reddy's three runs scored in that latest win hikes his franchise record to 90. Other franchise records quite probable to be set in the final week of regular season games. A Jacob Rosales victory will give him 11, most of any Yardbirds pitcher ever. Now, Anthony Ward has tied the record for triples with four. It'll be tough to sprint to a fifth in the small outfield confines of California City, but Monterey's Celesita Park is more spacious and High Desert has their last two regular season games there. Two more Dylan Farr doubles would set a new record. The 25-year-old from Las Vegas has 17. The Killer D speedster, who usually hits second in Sean McNeil's lineup, is nursing an oblique muscle strain, though, and is unsure when he will be back in the lineup. Down Home Grill serves up these hot off the grill Yardbirds highlight. Down Home Grill serves up the best senior breakfast. It's only six bucks. Organic eggs, fresh potatoes, French roast coffee. Down Home Grill serves the area's healthiest and most nutritious burgers from organic grass-fed beef. Down Home Grill is open every day, 6 in the morning until 10 at night, located at the corner of Delicious and Nutritious, Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive in Victorville. This flashback is brought to you by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville. Maverick Sluggers give Saturday night fans plenty to cheer about on Cancer Awareness Night. Five home runs, another free tacos night of offensive production, and a one-run victory in a high-scoring affair that gives High Desert a tenth consecutive victory over the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes. Mavericks in cancer awareness jerseys to be auctioned off during the game and distributed to silent auction high bidders immediately after the game. Cody Palmquist in his first start for High Desert, the 6'5", 22-year-old Palmquist made 17 previous appearances out of the Mavericks bullpen and was in fact named by the Texas Rangers as the organization's minor league relief pitcher of the month for the month of June. 
In his initial start, Rancho Cucamonga jumps out to a 5-0 lead and Quake's fans are eating it up. But it is Cancer Awareness Night and just like cancer survivors, the Mavericks put up a fight. A leadoff hitter's job includes trying to show as many pitches as possible to his teammates that follow in addition to reaching base, and Scott Heineman performs those duties perfectly. An eight pitch at bat ends with Scott Heineman extending his hitting streak to 13 consecutive games. Heineman combines his speed and hustle to put himself in scoring position and added bonus. Jairo Barris steps up and steps into a Michael Boyle offering, driving it over the Toyota sign in left field for his 16th home run of the year. It will be Quakes starter Mike Boyle suffering a nightmare inning, the Mavericks second. Elio Castillo drives in Trip Martin, who had legged out a windblown double with one out. The Quakes had added a run in their second. This Elio Castillo RBI makes it 6-3 Rancho Cucamonga. Mike DeLeon follows with this two-run home run, the ninth of the year for the Mavericks' slick fielding shortstop, Elio Castillo scoring ahead of Mike DeLeon. The Rancho Cucamonga lead is whittled down to 1-6-5. Scott Heineman laces his second hit of the ball game into left field, the sixth multiple hit game for the Mavs left fielder in his last 12 games, and Scott Heineman is not done for this day. Dylan Moore's high fly ball to deep right is lost in the high sky by Yusniel Diaz. Scott Heineman scampers from first to third, and Dylan Moore is credited with a double, one of four hits on the day for Dylan Moore. Jairo Barris sees to it there is no doubt about this one losing it over the second wall at Heritage Field, home run number 17 on the year for Jairo Barris and fifth in his last seven games. Scott Heineman and Dylan Moore crossing the plate ahead of the 6-6 slugger the 17 home runs places Jairo Barrett's fourth in the California League in that department. It is an understatement saying Jairo Barris is coming on strong in these dog days of August. Are you getting stronger in August? Great job hitting that ball. Uh, I feel good. I take a good pitch and have the counter for the, the try song and hitting hard the ball. The Jairo Barras three-run home run puts High Desert ahead 8-6, but the Mavericks are still not done in their half of the second. Jose Trevino steps in, pink cancer awareness bat in hand. Jose Trevino makes it back-to-back -back home runs following the Jairo Barras blast with the All-Star catcher's seventh round tripper of the year. Jose Trevino has been on a hot hitting streak of his own. He'll finish the day with three hits, giving him 18 hits in his last eight games, raising his batting average over the 300 mark, 302 to be exact. But the Mavericks still have not extracted enough from Quake's pitchers in this marathon second inning. Josh Morgan follows a Jose Cardona walk with the RBI double, the fleet-footed Jose Cordona scoring all the way from first. Josh Morgan's 16th double of the year and the eighth high desert run of the inning makes it 10-6. The Mavericks registered a nine-run inning the night before and they are intent on duplicating that feat tonight. Elio Castillo delivers. The base hit into left center field sends Josh Morgan home with run number nine in inning number two. That shifts game-winning RBI honors to Mike DeLeon, who stays with the two-strike pitch and pulls it into the right field corner. Trip Martin scores easily from second, and the Mavericks have regained the lead 14-13.
Dylan Moore beats out the ground ball to third, but Mike DeLeon is thrown out at the plate to end the inning. By the time it is all said and done and all the dust is cleared, will DeLeon's RBI be enough to seal the win? Nick Gardawine returns in the ninth and puts the Quakes away. The Mike DeLeon to Josh Morgan force ending the game. High Desert survives and conquers. Nick Gardawine, the winning pitcher. Mike DeLeon, the game winning hit for Mike DeLeon who had homered earlier, make that 10 hits and seven runs driven in in his last four games. It all makes for a very happy ending to a glorious night for cancer awareness fundraising. Fans receive the commemorative jerseys worn by the players and purchased by the fans in the silent auction, with all proceeds going to the American Cancer Society and Cancer Research. Serious legal problems? Don't go it alone. The other guys have attorneys just waiting to blow you away. Contact Iwanzak. Accidental death? Injured on the job? Contact Iwanzak. Business litigation? Vehicle accident? Unlawful detainer? Criminal litigation? Get the proper defense by going on the attack. Iwanzak Law Firm. Trial lawyers for serious problems. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive. Bid fast and last, world-class auctioneers, family-owned and operated liquidation experts. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville, providing highest quality home appliances at discount prices for six decades. Valu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Desert High Transportation, reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. Iwanzak Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting high desert teams, athletes, and sports programs. Storm and Norma roars again in KT100. And I won the race. Buck Blair adjusts and takes his first Pro 500 checkered of the season. I'm going to put a better tire on and change my setup a little and I'm going to go in harder this time. How about that? Video Sports reports on Wheel to Wheels, July 20th, Night of Racing. Stevie Simpson, Silver Blue 28, wins the Intermediates Main. Blaine Kuhn, Gold 23, takes the Dirt Carts Open checkered. Riley Tippetts, 14-year-old from Yorba Linda, wins the Restrictor Main. Among Championship Series 8 main event winners, gaining ground on season points leaders. Robbie Simpson, 27, the Intermediates Junior winner. Cash Colt occupying the podium in two classes, a Dirt Carts Junior victory lap again. Buck Blair gives us the lowdown on preferring the top line as we flash back to this video sports interview from the 2018 season. Yeah, you know, uh, to be honest, <laughs> you, if you're running the bottom, the top's faster. If you're running the top, the bottom's faster. Wow. Anyway, that's my luck. So, you know, I don't know. I prefer to run the top even if it's not faster. It's just more fun. So that's where I go. Having fun, a huge part and parcel of Storm and Norma Weatherby's racing at wheel to wheel. How did this 2019 KT100 rookie right, learn of wheel to wheel? I learned about wheel to wheel through mainly Heidi Jo Erickson at we were racing in Paris and then Ronnie wanted me to race there my handler my boyfriend and Doug Bushy wanted me to come up and try it so we did and we raced for the rack and I won the race now what what advice do you have for others who uh, might think about taking this on as a a hobby as uh, a sport absolutely do it it's the best family sport there is I came from quarter midgets like I said I missed my calling I couldn't go any further and I'm here now is there any best advice that you remember having gotten I was told I had to be a 
good sport. And in doing that, it came from my dad, and I know what sportsmanship is all about. Now, how long has it been since you raced as you start again here in 2019? Been a while? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh. I was 16 when I quit. Oh, my goodness. And so this. I'm so it's been a couple of seasons. Uh, yes. Oh, a my very goodness. lot of couple of seasons. Well, it is a delight having you here at Wheel to Wheel. Continued success to you. Thank you for bringing so much to this program, Norman. You're welcome. Racing returns to Wheel to Wheel the first Saturday in August. Midway Home Solutions Action Highlights. This video sports online report presented by Midway Home Solutions. Cool solutions to beating the heat. Huge selection of scratch and dent, refrigerators, freezers, air conditioners at closeout prices. Midway Home Solutions. political leaders to take on these issues, they can't. In one step shy of, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore, mode, Joe Brady addresses the biggest high desert press conference since the closure of George Air Force Base, telling of the launch of an extensive survey aimed at finding solutions to the stagnant economy and deteriorating quality of life suffered by all local communities. Everybody I know here in the high desert has said they feel we're broken, we are broken, but the problem is nobody's willing to take our challenge. Well, I'm not willing to personally take on the challenge of crime myself, but with the help of some people like John O'Haney with Tapestry, which is going to be the nicest master planning community that will break ground in a year from January down in his spirit, 15,663 homes, uh, John has, has agreed to underwrite this survey as has Randall Lewis of Lewis Operating Hosiery agreed to underwrite this um, survey, which Dr. Serrani is going to talk about as soon as I can get off here. That cost us $16,700. The solutions There's come from you who respond to the survey. Is if you ask political leaders to take on these issues, they can't. They can't do it. It is beyond their ability. The governments are too underfunded, and they have too many interests in things like re-election. So if you depend on that to be the source of change, forget it. It's not going to happen. Again, let me repeat that. HighDesertSurvey.com. We're doing final uh, tweaks on the survey and on the landing page. So It'll be available in about two weeks. We need you folks to let everybody know, everyone that you know, go to that page, answer the survey. This online report presented by Brad Co. Companies, the Community Table Restaurant, and the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting every effort to improve the quality of life and standard of living for all residents throughout our high desert communities. Serious legal problem? Don't go all alone. The other guys have attorneys just waiting to blow you away. Contact Iwanzak. Accidental death? Injured on the job? Contact Iwanzak. Business litigation? Vehicle accident? Unlawful detainer? Criminal litigation? Get the proper defense by going on the attack. Iwanzak Law Firm. Trial lawyers for serious problems. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive. Bid fast and last, world-class auctioneers, family-owned and operated liquidation experts. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville, providing highest quality home appliances at discount prices for six decades. Valu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Desert High Transportation, reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. High Desert Sports Training, providing proven training concepts. Call to schedule a free evaluation. 
Iwan Zak Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting high desert teams, athletes, and sports programs.